For the Welsh heat, Claire and Hattain need to select three artists to represent the nation. Let's talk about the Welsh artists, starting with Nathan. It's a picture of Lorraine Kelly as a pizza here. This is fun. <laughs> I would say that my most significant artwork to, to date is probably the original Simon Cowell with Marmite on Toast. I presented work to Mariah Carey, who said it was absolutely amazing, Joanna Lumley, His Royal Highness Prince Charles, and he said, I'm a very talented young man, so to think that the future king um, has said that about my work is really nice. Far from the celebrity limelight, 31-year-old Nathan was raised in the Valleys and now lives in Cardiff. I would say I'm a really, really, really proud Welshman, actually. I, I don't know any Welsh people that wouldn't say they're proud to be Welsh. I think it was my father that first noticed I had a little bit of a skill for drawing when I was about eight years old. Nathan's artistic talent became a lifeline growing up. Art really has probably saved me in many ways. I was quite heavily bullied growing up, and I think that where I was so shy, I never really felt like I had a voice. Through my creative expression, I've actually got to say things and quite often scream things that I wanted to say. Is there something genius about using everyday materials and, and making a statement with that? Absolutely. It's cutting down those barriers around art that people feel are elitist. So you go straight into the work. Mm. And Nathan really feels that everything can be art and that everyone can be an artist. And, and that really comes across in his work in using everyday domestic materials. And he is an absolute South Wales boy through and through. Mm -hmm. And that's enormously important to everything that he makes. For his local landmark, Nathan has decided to create a memorial to honour the lives lost in a catastrophic collapse of a colliery spoil in Wales 55 years ago. So the image that I'm actually creating is an image that I see as the most iconic image from the Aberfan disaster of 1966. And it's an image of a man called Johnny Thomas. The first coal miner on the scene that fateful day, Nathan's portrait will be transformed into a laser-cut cort and steel image of Johnny. I think the image resonates with me so much because it looks like it could be, you know, a family member of mine. Here in Wales, everybody's grandparents or great-grandparents were coal miners or steel workers. And I think you can just kind of see the absolute despair in his face. In Cardiff, Hetain is dropping in on Nathan to find out more about his sculpture to honour the 144 people who died in Aberfan. So my idea is a little bit different to, I guess, what people might usually see within my work. But I've decided to take this opportunity to make a piece of work which is meaningful and will be really reflective of the disaster. This is obviously a very sensitive subject matter. Have you been talking to people involved? Johnny Thomas was one of the first on the scene to help find the victims underneath all the rubble. I have managed to find some people that knew him, grew up with him, and some family members that are still alive today. Hopefully I'll get to meet them, and I hope as an artist that I do them justice with this piece. Nathan's the only person who's really trying something new and going off piste a bit, which, you know, in one sense is very admirable, but part of me does wonder if this is the time to do that. Nathan is visiting Aberfan, the site of the 1966 disaster, to find out more about the coal miner he's depicting in his local landmark. After my chat with Hattain, the main um, encouragement I took from him was that I should try to approach this as respectfully as possible. So I've come here today to Aberfan to seek out somebody that knew Johnny. Through social media, Nathan has managed to track down one of Johnny's relatives. Seeing the portrait of Johnny, to me, it really sums up the whole disaster. I just wanted to find out more about Johnny here today. So Johnny was very important to all of us as well, as a member of our family. He died in 1997, and he was a collier all of his life. And they were digging for days, and we didn't see them for days. And when they came home, you know, they, they didn't say anything because I think the feelings were running far too deep. That image reflects, you know, just the grief 
and loss, really, the feelings of everyone who worked alongside him on that day. It's so still here, and it's hard not to feel extremely moved by the story. So it's really inspired me. It was an important part of my journey on this project and as an artist and as a proud Welsh boy. In Cardiff, Nathan has finally taken delivery of his laser-cut caught and steel image of Johnny. So the sculpture has arrived and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. It's exactly what I envisioned, um, probably better actually. I'm just overwhelmed with it. It was slightly delayed, but I can completely understand the advice that the fabricators gave me about joining certain pieces up. For an example, the nose would normally be a little bit thinner, but we've had to make it thicker so that it, you know, the strength is there. It's an absolutely huge relief to finally have it here. There's still quite a bit left for me to do to get over the finish line and to get this piece created. Public opinion will be crucial when Claire, Hattain and Charlotte later decide who wins the Welsh heat. It is overrun. I think it's very thought-provoking. I know a lot of people who would never want to forget. That just brings it all back. I got gussies done the back of my neck when I think about Abba Van. You obviously think he's encapsulated yeah. a lot. Makes me want to cry every time I think about it. I think it was definitely sensitive and it made you stop and made you think. I did find that too much of a literal representation using minor. Uh, the stop clocks, I presume, are representing each child that died during that time. It is teetering on, on that edge in a way, especially when you think about school children and representing a school child mm. as a clock. It's, it's the thing that's actually of the landslide as well. That's what I've, I find hard to look at. It's time to hear their professional critique. Let's start with Nathan. I think what you've created is exceptional. It's really beautiful, yet really harrowing. So I think it has resonance both now in the modern day, but also, of course, um, for, for what happened to the people of Aberfan and all those beautiful little babies. So really well done. Where I feel less sure about the work is in the representation of those who died. And I just wondered how you came to that. It needed to be quite blunt, I think, in order to educate future generations. I think it does it justice, and having spoke to people involved, they seem to think the same. I would like to win, yeah, I'm not going to lie. To go on to make something else would be incredible. There's just something really classic and striking about the piece. He's literally made the work. I think it's something a little bit clunky and I find that representation difficult. This is him trying something and so I really respect that in him as an artist. Nathan's Aberfan Memorial is now exhibiting at the Welsh Mining Experience at Rona Heritage Park. It feels absolutely incredible to see my work on display here. For me, it's quite emotional because I remember that happening. 